After 45 years of wandering into the abyss, Voyager, one humanity's farthest and loneliest machine, just did something no one expected. It turned back. Not physically, no. But the data it sent carried something unmistakable. A reflection. A loop. A disruption that suggests it may have encountered something so foreign, so unaccounted for, that even the spacecraft's ancient systems were momentarily confused. And what came next wasn't a system glitch or an error code, it was a whisper from the edge of space that matched a fear scientists had buried for years. Voyager 1 may have crossed a boundary that wasn't supposed to exist. And in doing so, it may have confirmed that we were never truly alone in the dark. What did it detect out there? What does it mean for Earth? And why are some at NASA starting to question the very structure of space beyond the heliopause? Let's begin the descent into the unknown. In 1977, two spacecraft were launched with nothing but vintage tech and cosmic ambition. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 were supposed to last four years. Instead, they became immortals. While every other machine humanity has ever sent beyond Earth has long been silenced or shattered, the Voyagers kept moving. Past Jupiter. Past Saturn. Beyond the outer planets. And then, into something never touched before. Interstellar space. Their memory? Just 69 kilobytes. Their processor? Weaker than a modern calculator. And yet, they navigated gravity assists like acrobats in a silent void, slingshotting through the gas giants and beaming back data on moons, rings, magnetic fields, and plasma waves. Over time, engineers turned off heaters, cameras, and even scientific instruments. Each shut down a small funeral for a part of the mission. But still Voyager 1 spoke. Until recently, when its voice changed, For years, scientists believed in the heliopausia boundary where our sun's influence ends and the galaxy truly begins. Voyager 1 crossed it in 2012, at a distance of 120 astronomical units from Earth. But when it did, something unexpected happened. The magnetic field didn't change. The particle density rose. Yes, but the field's direction remained strangely consistent. That shouldn't have happened. Voyager 2, years later, experienced the same. This shattered every model we had. And while NASA tried to reconcile the data, something darker began to emerge. The readings suggested that the interstellar medium wasn't behaving like we expected. It was dense where it should have been sparse. It was calm where it should have been turbulent. And worst of all, the magnetic patterns looked eerily structured, as if shaped by something not random something intentional. Then, in early 2024, Voyager 1 sent a transmission that shook the deep space network. It wasn't noise. It was structureless, but patterned. The data stream included corrupted telemetry, repeated codes, and inexplicable resets. For weeks, NASA believed the spacecraft had suffered a memory failure, but when backup systems were activated, the same transmission continued even from subsystems never programmed to send that kind of data. Engineers called it a reflection loop, a signal returning from the void, altered in a way Voyager couldn't have generated on its own. One veteran analyst, off the record, described it as like shouting into a canyon that shouldn't exist and hearing your own voice warped by someone else's breath. Some feared an internal failure. Others began considering a disturbing alternative. Voyager had entered a region of space where its signals were being bent or answered. Scientists dove into the corrupted signals, mapping them against cosmic ray surges, plasma wave patterns, and solar wind decay. What they found was chilling. The interference aligned perfectly with a sudden spike in galactic cosmic race particles that should have been deflected by the heliosphere, yet now surged as if directed. Even more troubling, 
An anomaly in the magnetic field appeared a twist, a kink, something that shouldn't be there. It was as if Voyager 1 had passed through a membrane, and what lay beyond was reacting. Some suggested a pocket of dense interstellar plasma, while others whispered of non-natural field-shaping theoretical constructs previously reserved for science fiction. But the one truth that all teams agreed upon was this. The laws we thought governed space don't hold past the heliopause. Voyager's transmissions, once predictable, had become strange. Intelligent? Maybe not. But deliberate? Possibly. And in that possibility lies the fear. Because if this wasn't just space, what else is out there? After weeks of decoding, NASA finally released a heavily redacted statement about the Voyager 1 anomaly. They confirmed partial signal restoration, but refused to elaborate on the repeated data loops or the origin of the corrupted telemetry. Behind closed doors, however, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory had already convened a classified task force, pulling in experts from AI signal processing, quantum field theory, and astrophysics. One internal source leaked that the transmission contained non-random oscillation patterns at frequencies beyond what Voyager 1 should be able to emit. In layman's terms, something in deep space was either distorting the signaler, piggybacking on it. Even more troubling was the timing. The distortions began just after Voyager passed through a sudden drop in cosmic radiation, something that should have no bearing on the spacecraft's internal software. But what if something external had temporarily shielded it? Or worse, examined it? With the signal mystery unresolved, theoretical physicists began to dig into Voyager's trajectory and environmental data. What they found was deeply unsettling. The spacecraft's path showed minute but consistent deviations impossible to attribute to gravitational pull from known celestial bodies. Some postulated dark matter interactions. Others suggested gravitational lensing by an unknown object. But one model, buried in a private research paper, proposed something far stranger. The presence of a space-time distortion. Not a black hole. Not a wormhole. But something new like a boundary in the structure of the universe itself. A place where information loops, matter responds differently, and time behaves erratically. If true, it would mean Voyager 1 hadn't just traveled ferret had crossed into a different regime of reality, a cosmic region where our laws of motion, light, and energy begin to break down. And maybe, where something else operates under a completely different set of rules. What made this discovery even more chilling was what began happening to Voyager 2. Though millions of miles apart, both spacecraft began displaying synchronized anomalies. Small changes in signal timing, radiation exposure, and magnetic field direction occurred in parallel, despite their different positions. Statistically, it shouldn't be possible. The odds of both crafts encountering identical disturbances in unrelated regions of space bordered on impossible. Unless, of course, they weren't unrelated. Unless there's something encompassing both. A massive structure, invisible to our eyes and instruments, interacting with both Voyagers simultaneously. This sparked renewed speculation that what the Voyagers had reached wasn't just a region, it was a perimeter. And if there's a perimeter, there might be a center. And something at the center might have just noticed the knock. As more data was processed, a shift began to take hold not in the numbers, but in the conversations. Scientists who once dismissed artificiality now hesitated. Engineers who had spent decades maintaining the Voyagers admitted the behavior wasn't mechanical. It was responsive. And slowly, a disturbing consensus began to form in whisper networks and back-channel meetings. Voyager 1 may have encountered intelligence not in the cinematic sense of a spacecraft or message, 
but in the subtle shaping of environment engineering on a scale too vast to comprehend. The signal reflections, the synchronized distortions, the magnetic field anomalies they all suggested intervention, or at the very least, manipulation. What if Voyager wasn't just drifting anymore? What if it had become part of someone else's experiment? Someone who's been waiting patiently for us to reach just far enough to be noticed. For 45 years, Voyager 1 was our silent ambassador to the Starson aging, drifting fragment of human will, wrapped in gold and binary. It carried our sounds, our greetings, and our hope that something out there might one day listen. But we never expected an answer. Not like this. Because Voyager hasn't just reached the edge of space. It has pierced something older, stranger, and far more intentional than anyone imagined. A region where time twists, physics trembles, and signals reflect. A place that does not behave like the rest of the cosmos a place that watches back. And when Voyager sent that distorted signal, that looping cry across the void, it wasn't a malfunction. It was a response. The kind that doesn't need words. The kind that says, we've seen you now. Scientists can debate the nature of the anomaly. They can analyze the patterns, twist the models, and redact the reports. But they can't change the fundamental truth Voyager confirmed something we weren't ready to face, that the edge of our solar system may not be the edge at all. It may be a door, and someone, or something, just cracked it open. If this shook you, if it made your skin crawl with the sense that the universe just got smaller and darker all at Ancedent, let this story vanish into static. Subscribe to this channel. We chase the signals that others fear to hear. Turn on notifications, because Voyager 1 may not be done speaking yet. Share this video with someone who still believes deep space is silent. Comment below. Do you believe Voyager found something? Or that something found Voyager?